Okay, so we represent a vector with a line. This is going from A to B, and we've also got an arrow. So the magnitude is the length of the line. So that's the length here. And the direction is given by the arrow. And we can write this vector in what we call a column vector. So we can write AB, so the direction from A to B, or we can call it A. And we can give that by the X component, which is how many how far it goes to the X. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it goes six to the right. So that way is positive, that way is negative, and then this is the Y component, and we're going up two. So if we go up, it's positive, and we go down, it's negative, just like coordinate grid. So our vector would be six, two. If you looked at this one, it'd be C to D, or we could just call it C. And that would be one, two, three, four, five that way. And we're going one up. This one here, we're going one, two this way, and we're going two down. So we can just call that E to F. And this one, G to H. If we're going across, we'll call that one, two, three, four, five. But we're not going up or down any, so we just have to put zero.